Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two, and this is your daily go getterism number eight hundred and thirty-seven for January seventeenth, two thousand and seventeen. Tonight, I want to talk to y'all about when you work for something and you don't get it. I mean, from what we understand, when you work for something, you're supposed to get it. You put in work, you do what you're supposed to do. You, you, uh, you work and you wait. That's how you that's how you build patience. You work, you wait, you work, you wait. And good things are supposed to come to those who wait, right? Great things are supposed to come to those who grind, right? That's what I always say. Sometimes life throws you a curveball, and the way that you handle that curveball, the way you swing that bat at that curve curveball has a lot to do with your character. And your character tells a whole lot to the world about exactly the kind of man or the woman that you are. So when you work for something, you raise your level of expectations. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do. You should expect great things to come to you when you put in the work. When you research, when you do the things that you're supposed to do. You get next to the people that you're supposed to get next to. People who can make things happen for you. But we also have to remember in dealing with people and dealing with things and dealing with our desires some things aren't really in our control as much as we would like them to be or as much as we would like to believe that they are sometimes some things are out of our control and we have to we have to pretty much take heed to that fact we don't like it it sucks for real it's not a good look but it's something that we have to deal with and it's something that we all have to deal with you know when you think about when you think about when, when you work hard for something, you know, first of all, you identify the thing that it is that you want. You may do a little shopping. And I mean shopping as far as knowing exactly where to get where you get what you want. Um, how, what are the costs? What, are the, what, what, what kind of payments you're going to have to make? If it's a thing, even if it's not a thing. Yeah, well, I guess anything that you want is a thing in some kind of way. But even if you're looking for spiritual enlightenment, you have to know exactly where to get it and what costs are going to have to be paid in order to obtain it. See, costs have more to do with, with your actions than any type of monetary payment. So we have to take heed to that. And so, you know, as you're doing your shopping, as you are making sure that you want exactly what you want, and you're finding out exactly how to go about getting it, and you start working on it. You know, if you were taught right when you were younger, then you were taught that, you know, you put in the work to, to, to get the things that you want. Yeah, and anything worth waiting, uh, anything worth having is worth waiting for, it's worth working for. So if you do both of those things, you're supposed to be all right. It doesn't always work out that way. We, we, we hope that it does, and we do the things necessary in order to make sure that it turns out that way. But it doesn't always work out that way. And here's some reasons why it doesn't always take, turn out that way. All right. Number one, you can want all the things that you want, and you can work hard to get the things that you want. But we also have to remember that some things aren't within our control. Sometimes we need help. Even if we know how to do something, that, that doesn't mean that we don't need help. And also, we may have to get what we want from someone else, not necessarily meaning that we have to steal it, but it means that they hold it and we're going to have to do whatever is necessary in order to get it from them. So, I mean, it could be something simple. Like, let's say you want a new car. You still have to go to the dealership to get the car. You're not going to build the car yourself. You could, but even if you built the car yourself... You would have to go somewhere where they have the parts in order to build the car. So you have to get something from somewhere. And once we nail down that position, once we understand that, overstand that, then we can go to the place where, where whoever has it and get it from them. But we have to remember that when we are trying to get help from somebody or getting something from somebody, we have to make sure that we are cordial enough. Let me just put it this way. People do things for people that they like. People do things for their friends. It's an easy concept to understand. People do things for their friends. That's why friendships are good things to have. So when you, when I, whenever I hear people out here talking all that, I don't need nobody, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck if people like me or not. Yeah, well, whatever. Because 
first of all, I know that that's coming from a place of hurting, and that's tough to deal with. But when you have a bunch of people around you that don't like you, and those are the people that you're relying on, then you can pretty much expect not to get anything that you really want. That's the way that works. People do things for, for their friends. They do things for people that they like. Now, the best thing for you to do is to be around people that like you and that are your friends. Make friends. That way you won't go through the whole rigmarole of working hard for what you want and not getting it. Now, getting to the whole point of when you work hard for something you don't get what you want. Some people lose their mind when they work for something and they don't get what they want. Some people don't even put in the work, but if you make a promise to them and they don't get what they want, because they may have been raised as a spoiled brat or whatever, then they start losing their mind. They start throwing a tantrum. They start acting crazy. They may have you looking at them like, yo, what the hell is wrong with homie? Yo, you tripping. But that's how that they, that's how they've gotten the things that they've wanted in their lives, and they don't know any other way. They don't know a better way. So they wind up playing themselves around you, have you scratching your head like, why the hell would anybody act like that? And why would anybody give something to somebody who acts that way? Well, unfortunately, there are people who are accommodating to brats, spoiled brats. It's just the way it is. So if you are the type of person that 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 jumps up and down, cries, pouts, um, stops speaking to people when you don't get what you want, uh, defames people, start talking shit about people when you don't get what you want, tries to make people look bad in the eyes of other people when you don't get what you want, breaks things, gets violent when they don't get what they want, or, or, or get what they've worked for. Well, I guess there's a big difference between not getting what you want and not getting what you work for. And since we're talking about what you work for when you're going to get what you have worked for, let's stay focused on that. All right. So when you don't get what you've worked for, it almost makes it seem like the things that you've worked for have been for nothing. And that can bring you down and it can make you feel bad and it can make you feel demoralized and it can make you feel like working for something is not going to carry the promise that it's supposed to. But you also have to remember the waiting phase of this whole thing. Waiting and working, waiting and working, working, waiting, working, waiting. And that's all about the patience thing. Now, when you've worked for something and you still don't get it, Okay, that just probably means that you have to keep working and you have to wait a little bit longer. And that's what I was talking about when I say that things aren't always within our control. And that's also what I was talking about when I say this, that people do things for their friends, they do things for people that they like. There's nothing we can do about that. It's just a reality, man. It's just a reality. It's a tough reality. It's a harsh reality. But it's a reality nonetheless. And trust and believe. If you think about in your own life, are you that... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Are you that... Is your system of justice set up so that no matter whether you like a person or not, that you still do for them? Because if you are, great for you. If you're not, then you're probably just a human being. No big deal. You know, just a man or a woman. No big deal. Bottom line is, man, don't don't get all bent out of shape when you work for something and you don't get it. Let's say, let's say like, all right, the two examples that I use often enough. When you let's say you worked at a job and you worked hard and you you worked for this position and you knew that you were qualified, you didn't get the position and you know they give the position to somebody else. Do you quit that job? Do you start snitching on people, especially the person that got the job over you? So what do you do? How you handle that may determine whether you ever get offered that position again. Whether you are the best person for, for the job or not. In a relationship, let's say you've been in a relationship with somebody for years and you wanted to marry them, you ask them to marry you. Or if you're a woman, you waited to be asked to, to be married and it never happened. Do you break up with them? Do you stick it out? Do you ride it out? Do you try to improve your communication? What do you do? Because a lot of that will determine whether 
the two of you have a future. You said you love him, right? Might have to prove that. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, when it all comes down to it, we still have to remember patience. Working and waiting, working and waiting, working and waiting. And remember that people do things for the people that they like. They do things for their friends. Ain't no way around that shit. It's just no way around it. Don't get all super bent out of shape when you work for something and don't get it. It just means that the work isn't done. That's all it means. It just means that the work is not done yet. It's not completed yet. We aren't always on our own time. You just have to remember that. That's another thing I want y'all to remember. Remember, the Urban Therapy with Sun Show is tomorrow night, Wednesday night, January 18th. And tomorrow night, we're talking about after the inauguration, when the dust settles, or basically the settling dust. What's going to happen? What's going to happen after this weekend and Donald Trump gets sworn in? What's going to be the state of our people? How are we going to handle this? What are we going to do? What's it going to be like? How's our lives going to change? Not even just the lives of black people. What about the lives of everybody? How is everybody going to handle this? Are we going to be all right? Now, I'm thinking about maybe having a show next week, too, to see how the first few days after the inauguration have gone. As a matter of fact, the inauguration itself What's that going? What is that going to look like? Because if if y'all have been getting a lot of things in your inboxes like I have, mm -hmm, this is going to be monumental. It's crazy. So what's it going to be like? We're going to talk about that tomorrow night, and we're also we're also going to talk about the state of politics, the state of the hood, the, the state of black people in and of itself, the state of of all the citizens in the United States. The state of our position in the world, socio, socio, politically, politically, um, um, race relations, everything. We're gonna get into it tomorrow night. Make sure y'all come through. After the inauguration, the settling dust tomorrow night, January eighteenth, eight thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Blo well, you know, y'all know the number. Same as the Daily Go Getemism show. 319-527-6199. You can listen online, blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun 752. Peace.